In the realm of artificial intelligence, we often focus on replicating human intelligence, creating machines that can think, reason, and solve complex problems. But what about the intelligence of other living beings? Can we create artificial animals? Not just robots that mimic their movements, but entities that possess the cognitive and emotional capacities of real animals? In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of animats, artificial animals that exist at the intersection of robotics, artificial intelligence, and biology. We'll explore their origins, their current capabilities, and the potential implications of this technology for our understanding of animal behavior, intelligence, and even consciousness. We'll examine how animats are designed and programmed, drawing inspiration from the nervous systems and behaviors of real animals. We'll also consider the ethical considerations surrounding the creation of artificial animals, and the potential benefits and risks of this technology for fields like animal research, conservation, and even entertainment. Whether you're a robotics enthusiast, an animal lover, or simply someone curious about the future of artificial intelligence, this exploration of animats promises to expand your understanding of the boundaries between the natural and the artificial. And who knows, perhaps by studying and creating animats, we can gain deeper insights into the nature of intelligence, consciousness, and the complex interactions that shape the animal kingdom. Animats, a fascinating intersection of biology and technology, are artificial animals designed to simulate the behavior and intelligence of living creatures. The term animat is a clever fusion of animal and materials, reflecting their nature as both artificial creations and simulated organisms. This field encompasses both physical robots and virtual simulations, each aiming to capture the essence of animal behavior and cognition. The animat model typically focuses on simpler organisms capable of interacting with their environment, allowing researchers to explore the fundamental principles of intelligence and adaption. Animats are programmed to learn and associate specific signals from their environment with meaningful outcomes, creating a foundation for cognitive development and decision making. This approach, inspired by the study of animal behavior and learning, allows researchers to investigate how artificial systems can develop adaptive responses and navigate complex environments. The field of animat research has gained significant momentum since the publication of Rodney Brooks' seminal paper, Intelligence Without Representation. Brooks challenged the traditional AI paradigm that relied on explicit symbolic representations of the world, advocating instead for a more embodied and situated approach to intelligence. Animats, with their emphasis on interaction with the environment and the development of adaptive behaviors, exemplify this approach. By studying and creating animats, researchers hope to gain insights into the fundamental principles of intelligence, learning, and decision making, not just in animals, but potentially in artificial systems as well. The term animat was first coined by S.W. Wilson in 1985 in his paper, Knowledge Growth in an Artificial Animal. This work marked a significant step in the development of artificial life studies, specifically focusing on the creation of simulated creatures capable of interacting and learning from their environment. Wilson's concept of animats built upon earlier research by W.G. Walter, who invented a three-wheeled robotic vehicle equipped with sensors and a propulsion motor. This early robot, while not a full-fledged animat, demonstrated the potential for artificial systems to exhibit simple behaviors and respond to their surroundings. Walter's Machine That Thinks was a precursor to animats. It incorporated basic rules that linked the robot's actions, such as the speed of its motors, to sensory input, such as the level of illumination. This laid the groundwork for the development of animats as autonomous agents capable of learning and adapting to their environment. The work of Norbert Wiener, a pioneer of cybernetics, also influenced the early development of animat research. Wiener's theories on feedback and control systems inspired scientists to create simulations of animal brains and behaviors, from frogs and rats to monkeys. Initially, animats were designed as simple creatures that exhibit basic behaviors driven by genetic algorithms and principles of natural selection. These early animats primarily primarily focus on simulating the evolutionary process and exploring how artificial organisms can adapt and survive in simulated environments. However, Wilson's animats went beyond simple behavior and incorporated learning capabilities. These simulated creatures could acquire knowledge and modify their actions based on their experiences, demonstrating a rudimentary form of intelligence and adaptability. The development of animats marked an important step in the evolution of artificial intelligence and artificial life research. By creating simulated creatures that could interact and learn from their environment, scientists opened up new avenues for exploring the fundamental principles of intelligence, adaption, and even consciousness. The animate model, as proposed by Wilson, has found various applications and has sparked new lines of inquiry in the field of artificial life. 
Stan Franklin, in his book Artificial Minds, explores an implementation of the Animat model where the artificial creature learns about its environment through the development and evolution of pattern matching rules called taxons. These taxons allow the Animat to recognize and respond to patterns in its surroundings, gradually building a knowledge base and adapting its behavior accordingly. In 2001, Thomas DeMars conducted pioneering research on neurally controlled Animats. These animats utilize actual biological neurons cultured in a laboratory to control their movements and behaviors. This approach, while still in its early stages, offers a unique way to bridge the gap between biological and artificial systems, potentially leading to the creation of more lifelike and adaptable robots. Another significant development was the successful demonstration of a role adaptive animat by Holland and Reitman. This animat could optimize its behavior to satisfy two distinct needs, demonstrating a rudimentary form of decision making and goal oriented behavior. However, as technology advances, the definition of what constitutes an animat may need to be revisited. Alan H. Goldstein, a researcher in nanobiotechnology, has proposed that with the emergence of this field, the term animat should be reserved for non-biological entities that exhibit the minimum set of behaviors that define a life form. He argues that the focus should shift from simulating intelligence or consciousness to creating artificial systems capable of exhibiting the basic characteristics of life, such as self-organization, metabolism, and reproduction. Goldstein's animat test outlines these minimum criteria for defining a life form, and he emphasizes the importance of following the principles of chemistry and molecular engineering rather than simply aiming for a certain level of artificial intelligence. He also highlights a potential disconnect between the fields of nanobiotechnology and artificial life research due to differences in training, experimental methods, and terminology. He suggests that the first true animats created through advances in molecular engineering may go unrecognized by both scientific communities due to this gap in understanding. The Society of Adaptive Behavior, a biannual conference and its associated journal, Adaptive Behavior, serve as platforms for researchers to share and discuss the latest developments in animat research and related fields. This ongoing collaboration and exchange of ideas continue to push the boundaries of artificial life and explore the possibilities of creating artificial systems that exhibit the characteristics of living organisms. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of animats, exploring their origins, their potential, and the ongoing research that is pushing the boundaries of artificial life. We've seen how these artificial animals, whether in the form of physical robots or virtual simulations, are helping us understand the fundamental principles of intelligence, adaption, and even consciousness. The concept of animats challenges our traditional understanding of the distinction between the living and the non-living, blurring the lines between biology and technology. It invites us to consider the possibility of creating artificial systems that not only mimic the behaviors of animals, but also possess some of their cognitive and emotional capacities. While the field of animat research is still in its early stages, it holds immense potential for various applications, from robotics and artificial intelligence to neuroscience and even environmental conservation. By studying and creating animats, we can gain deeper insights into the complex interactions between organisms and their environments the evolution of intelligence, and the very nature of life itself. If this exploration has sparked your curiosity, I encourage you to delve deeper into the world of animats and artificial life. Explore the works of Rodney Brooks, Stan Franklin, and other pioneers in this field. Consider the ethical implications of creating artificial animals and the potential impact of this technology on our society and the natural world. And who knows? Perhaps by embracing the possibilities of animats, you'll be inspired to contribute to this exciting field and help shape the future of artificial life. The answers to some of life's most profound mysteries may not lie in the depths of the jungle or the ocean, but in the laboratories and simulations where animats are being born and nurtured. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's Big Y. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.